Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope we are all doing fine. So today we are going to see some basic questions that can prepare you for final examinations. Before I am going to give you the answers for each question together with its discussions. It would be nice if I simply present the question so that you can try it yourself first then we are going to see how much you have understood the chapter. So the, there are two basic parts of the question. The first part is true and or false items which requires you to write the state true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is incorrect. Accordingly there are 20 true false items to be followed by 50 multiple choice questions. Please try the questions first before I'm going to post the questions together with the answer. This, here are the questions. The first question is Memory is a systematic capacity of our mind to record, preserve and later to use information. Memory is a systematic capacity of our mind to record, preserve and later to use information. Is this true or false? 2. Sensory memory stores large amount of information for a very short period of time. Sensory memory stores large amount of information for a very short period of time. Is this statement true or false? Iconic memory reflects information from our auditory system whereas echoic memory reflect this information from our visual system. Iconic memory reflects information from our auditory system whereas echoic memory reflects information from our visual system. Is it true or false? Number four. The longer you rehearse information, the more likely it stays for longer term storage. The longer you rehearse information, the more likely it stays for longer term storage. Is it true or false? 5. Psychologists categorize memory into three mainly based on its span and duration. Psychologists categorize memory into three, maybe three parts or three stages, mainly based on its span and duration. Is it true or false? Number 6. Based on how much and how long information is held. Memory is divided into three processes called encoding, storing, and retrieving. Based on how much and how long information is held, memory is divided into three processes called encoding, storing, and retrieving. Number seven. Holding information of a phone number in your mind until you write it on a piece of paper is a sensory memory system. Holding information of a phone number in your mind until you write it on a piece of paper is a sensory memory system. Number eight. The initial perceptual information is a sensory memory. The initial perceptual information is a sensory memory. Remembering the type of breakfast you ate is a short-term memory. Remembering the type of breakfast you ate is a short-term memory. Declarative automatic long-term memory is a skill-related memory to be revealed through time with effort. Declarative automatic long-term memory is a skill-related memory to be revealed through time with effort. When you tend to recite the beginning of a list of names, you are affected by primacy effect. When you tend to recite the beginning of a list of names you are affected by primacy effect the memory process or are similarly orderly present in animals as well as humans the memory processes are similarly orderly present in animals as well as humans the usage of previously stored information is a process of retrieval in memory system the usage of previously storage information is a process of retrieval in a memory system. 
The memory system is analogous to information processing system of computer according to Richard family model. The memory system is analogous to information processing system of computer according to Richard family model. Information can be retrieved at both short-term memory and long-term level. Information can be revealed, retrieved at both short-term memory and long-term memory level. Perceptual level information is a sensory register information that short-term memory information. Perceptual level information is a sensory register information than short-term memory information. Majority of people hold 5 to 9 digits of numbers at short-term memory according to the magic number principle. Majority of people hold 5 to 9 digits of numbers at short-term memory according to the magic number principle. Rehearsing by relating new information with previously stored information in STM is an elaborative type of rehearsal. Rehearsing by relating new information with previously stored information is short in short-term memory is an elaborative type of rehearsal. Number 19. The type of information stored in long-term memory is typically those which are well learned and well organized ones. The type of information stored in long term memory is typically those which are well learned and well organized ones. Number 20 and the final one. The memory of William Wundt establishing the first psychological laboratory in 1900 in Germany is a type of episodic memory of long term memory. The memory of William Booth establishing the first psychological laboratory in 1900 in Germany is a type of episodic memory of LTM. Part 2. Multiple questions. Choose the best answers and write the letters of your, your choices on the space provided. Number 1. A mental screenshot of an image is dash information. A mental screenshot of an image is dash information. A. Sensory memory. B. Short term memory. C. Long term memory. D. None. Number two. The initial meaning of a material memory system is created in. The initial meaning of a material in memory system is created in. A. Sensory memory. B. Short term memory. C. Long term memory. D. Short term memory and sensory memory. So, the initial meaning of a material in memory system is created in SM, sensory memory, STM, short term memory, LTM, long term memory, SM and STM. Sensory memory and short term memory. Number three. Encoding in a meaningfulness and chunking way is performed in LTM, STM, SM, SM, and STM. The increasing order of capacity of storage of memory is sensory memory, short term memory, long term memory, LTM, STM. SM, C, STM, SM, LTM, D, LTM, SM, STM. Which of the following is not the example of drive reduction theory? This question is mistakenly inserted to this chapter, but it's the chapter of is the question of chapter five. However, let's see it. Which of the following is not the example of drive reduction theory? Watching scary movies where people purposely make themselves uncomfortable. Camping which takes someone away from their comfortable home. Fasting behaviors which someone will purposely not fulfill their primary need. Extreme workouts which are purposely uncomfortable. Alright, number six. What is the serial position effect? A. 
The finding that distributed practice provides for better retention of information than mass practice. B. The tendency to forget information rapidly at first followed by leveling out forgetting. C. The tendency to remember either the last items on a list better or the first items on a list better. D. The saved time associated with relearning information better. Number 7. What is episodic memory? A. A type of declarative memory that allows you to recall past personal experiences. B. A type of semantic memory that allows you to recall past personal experiences. C. A type of declarative memory that allows you to record general factual information. D. None of the options are correct. 8. Which of the following statements regarding episodic memory is false? Which of the following statements regarding episodic memory is false? It is a memory about general factual information, knowledge, and concepts about the world. B. It can lead to episodic learning. C. It includes recalling information regarding when an event took place, where the event happened, what occurred during the event, and the associated emotions. D. When we recall episodic memories, we are consciously aware of re-experiencing. Number 9. Displacement theory is based on what assumption about short-term memory? A. It is particularly infinite. B. It is limited in capacity. C. Memories fade at a set rate of over time. D. Physical damage to the brain impacts it. What is a key factor in trace decay theory? A. Time. B. Type of events that occurred when the memory was formed. C. External cues. D. Physical damage to the brain. Number 11. Maslow's hierarchy of needs explains A. That the motivation for shelter is stronger than the motivation for creativity. B. The mo that the motivation to eat is stronger than the motivation to be friends, to be with friends. C. That the motivation for health is stronger than the motivation for respect by others. D. All of the answers are correct. Number 12. Imagine you are bicycling in a race. Imagine you are bicycling in a race. Which of the following is the best example of an extrinsic motivation for this activity? A. Biking to enjoy the fresh air. B. Raising money for a charity you believe in. C. Crowds cheering when you get a trophy. D. To increase your health through exercise. Number 13. Which of the following needs creates the strongest drive to act immediately? A. The need for respect. The need, B. The need to make friends. C. The need to eat. D. The need of job security. Number 14. What are the orders of the process of memory? A. Decoding, encoding, receiving. B. Encoding, retrieving, decoding. C. Encoding, retrieving, storing. D. Encoding, storing, retrieving. Number 15. Information is passed from SM to STM through A. Rehearsal. B. Chunking. C. Repetition. D. Attention. Number 16. If you, tell, if you tell a previously memorized phone number instead of a recently stored one, you are experiencing that type of forgetting theory. A. Retroactive interference type of forgetting theory. B. Proactive interference type of forgetting theory. C. Displacement type of forgetting theory. D. Decay type of forgetting theory. Number 17. The last part of a list of items can be remembered according to the three box model by A. Primacy effect B. Primary effect C. Recency effect D. Recently effect Let me repeat it. 
The last part of the list of items can be remembered according to the three box model by A. Primary effect B. Primacy effect C. Recency effect D. Recently effect Those with a high capacity of episodic memory would join the discipline of A. Mathematics B. Language and literature C. Physics D. History Number 19 the ability to make a door what is a a procedural memory p semantic memory c serial memory d episodic memory number 20 learning the skills of how to drive cycle is dash type of memory a semantic memory b a procedural memory c serial memory d episodic memory number 21 the major factor in DK theory of forgetting is A. Type of information P. Time of duration C. Length of information D. Capacity of memory Number 22 When you remember the name of the, a younger brother instead of the older one due to their birthday you are undergoing dash type of theory of forgetting These questions alternative will be alternatives of question number 16 retroactive interference proactive interference displacement decay number 23 when you fail to remember the name of the hotel that you used as a sign to remember your friend's house that you visited for the first time, that's dash forgetting. Displacing, Q dependent, displacement again, and decay. Number 24. The general knowledge of the world. The vocabulary meaning world fall under dash type of STM memory. Episodic. Semantic, procedural, none. Number 25. Information about how to climb a tree. Procedures of how to drive a car. As a 10 years old child is stored in SM, STM, LTM, STM and LTM. Number 26. The other names of STM include all except rookie memory, primary memory, immediate memory, active memory, in none. The duration of short-term memory is 26, 30 means 10 sex, 40 sex. 28. The process of converting sensory information into a form that can be processed further by the memory system is known as sensory registration, encoding, decoding, storing. Number 29. Locating and bringing the kept information to one's awareness when required for use is A. Retrieval B. Encoding C. Decoding D. Storing Number 3. The most limited capacity to store information is in STM, SM, LTM, SM and STM Number 31. The displacement theory of forgetting is mostly functional in STM, SM LTM, SM, and STM. Number 32. Information is generally not forgotten in dash memory. STM, SM, LTM, D all, INN. The memory of what you ate at breakfast this morning is dash type of living memory. Semantic declarative memory. Semantic non declarative memory. Episodic declarative memory. Semantic non declarative memory. Procedural memory. Number 34. Four, which one among the following statement is true? A. Procedural memory is typically implicit. B. Auditory sensory memory is called iconic memory. C. Encoding is a the process by which we put information into our memory. D. Memory of our high school graduation will be a good example of semantic memory. E. We tend to better remember items at the beginning and end of a list than those in the middle. Number 35. In retroactive interference. A. New information disrupts our ability to remember information that was learned earlier. B. 
All the information the subjects are able to remember information that was learned later. C. New information the subjects are able to remember information that was learned later. D. All the information the subjects are able to remember information that was learned earlier. Number 36. Proactive interference occurs when newer information disrupts our ability to remember information that was learned earlier. B. Older information disrupts our ability to remember information that was learned later. C. Newer information disrupts our ability to remember information that was learned later. D. Older information disrupts our ability to remember information that was learned earlier. Number 37. Dash memory is to hearing as dash memory is to seeing. Iconic, iconic. Working short term. Iconic, iconic. Short term working. Number 38. Dash interference works backwards and dash interference works forwards. Primary reason C. Reason C. Primacy. Proactive, retroactive. Retroactive, proactive. Number 39. In stage models of memory, information moves from sensory to short-term to long-term memory, sensory to long-term to working memory, short-term to long-term to explicit memory, sensory to echoic to iconic memory. Number 40. Dash information is lost from sensory memory and dash information is lost from short-term memory. Unpleasant, pleasant, pleasant, unpleasant. Unrehearsed, unattended, unattended, unrehearsed. Number 41. Dash memory is to first hand experience as dash memory is to knowledge about the world. Semantic, episodic, implicit, explicit, episodic, semantic, explicit, implicit. Number 42. Which of the following is true regarding the capacity of short term memory types? 5. Laser recall to STM, laser recall to 9. 5 greater than or equal to STM greater than or equal to 9. 9 less than or equal to STM greater than or equal to 5. STM greater than or equal to 5 to STM greater than or equal to 9. Number 43. Procedural memory is not A. Non declarative memory. B. Implicit memory. C. Declarative memory. Number 44. Which of the following is not among factors affecting memory? A. Ability to retain B. Maturation C. Age D. Immaturity E. None Forgetting is the apparent loss of information already encoded and stored in the long-term memory. Displacement Decay Interference And forgetting This question should be corrected. Number 46. Memory traces or ingram fed with time if they are not accessed now and then. A. Displacement. B. Decay. C. Interference. D. Forgetting. Number 47. New information entering memory can wipe out the old information dash theory of learn forgetting. A. Displacement. B. Decay. C. Interference. D. Motivated. Displacement theory is only associated with SM, STM, LTM, the all. A self-protective forgetting is apparent in dash theory of forgetting. Motivated, Q-dependent, DK, the all. The last one. Which of the following is not among the ways to improve memory? A. Paying attention and focusing. B. Encoding information in a similar way. C. Add meaning and taking ample time. D. Overlearning and monitor, monitoring one's learning. These are all the questions that can help you to understand this chapter very well. So please try your best. Write your answers. Just after few time, I will be presenting the answers and its discussions for this particular video. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment for all your friends and different channels that you have, including Facebook, 
Telegram, and other social medias. Thank you so much. Please put all your comments under the comment section if you have. Enjoy your time. Give you time for your life. Viva!